So I've been continuing with my search for my perfect rose perfume. Um, although I am increasingly wondering if maybe rose perfumes just aren't the scent for me. Maybe rose just isn't going to work for me. I think because I keep grasping and trying to find something that's a little bit like the Fleur de Ombre rose. And I don't really think there's anything that smells like that. And fair enough, because I said in one of my previous videos, it kind of smelled like fresh red roses and pink jelly babies. It was like a super specific smell that wasn't particularly naturally naturalistic, which is exactly why I liked it. I like that kind of rose smell. But anyway, so this is Rosa Moore by Oscar de la Renta. I've seen quite a few people talking about this. Lots of people like it. I think for this, for me, this one, again, is a slightly fresher than I was expecting it to be, slightly crisper and a bit more tangy. I don't dislike this one at all. I think this is really pretty. Um, I'm just slightly undecided on whether it, it suits me because when I've worn it, again, I've been aware, but not necessarily in a way, aware in a way where I want to keep sniffing myself. Um, so I, I think this is one I'm going to have to try in really hot weather to see how it works. Mm. So on my skin, it feels quite sharp at the moment. And it's, hmm, it's really hard to describe. It is very fresh and flowery and rosy. And I don't really get a huge amount else from it. Um, so I'll read you the notes. The top notes are Freesia, Italian Mandarin and Lily of the Valley. And I think I get Lily of the Valley because this does remind me of white flower perfumes. Middle notes, Rose, Gardenia, Heliotrope and Ylang Ylang. Oh, and Indian, Indian Tuberose. But it's not particularly creamy. It's not particularly buttery. Um, it's not at all bubblegummy. And then the base notes, Musk, Sandalwood, Tonka Bean and Tobacco. So... I don't get the tobacco. That's not coming out on me. Um, and neither is the tonka bean recognisable to me because this I don't find this at all sweet. It's cute, but um, yeah, I don't know. This is um, this is a grower, so I might be a grower anyway. This, but this is definitely one I need to to try on a hotter day, and I will do that. So what I'll do is. Um, I'll give it a go again on a hot day and then I'll do a comparison video. Um, but again, Oscar de la Renta perfumes are, are really bargain -esque. This is like a good price. Um, I think you can get these for like between 15 and 20 pounds. So they're really good value. They're really, really nice. Um, and yeah, I think if you like a fresh rose again, if you like something rosy, if you like a fresh scent, this is like a really nice one. Um, it's just, you know, again, with all my other rose perfumes I've reviewed, I haven't worked out yet whether this one is for me um, because I'm very fussy about the smell of rose. And I was really hoping because of the tonka, this was going to be a bit sweeter. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see how I get on.